thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to sit down and answer our questions. Um, I really, really, really appreciate it. I know all of you guys are extremely busy. So thank you for taking the time to answer the fans' questions. No problem. I so first you. we'll start off. Yes, sir. So first we'll start off with my questions and then I'll get right into the fans' questions, okay? Okay. You're starting to break up. I guess you must be in a bad area. I'm breaking up now? Um, you're good now. Hold on, let me pull over here. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. All right, so the first thing I wanted to know is how did you get started? How did Dunk Planet come about? So how did you get started with um, being into dunks and photography and videography and stuff like that? Um, how Dunk Planet got started was, uh, first it was, uh, Dunk Planet was originally Dunks R Us. Uh -huh. It was originally Dunks R Us back in the day, and um, and then um, it started from um, it was originally Dunks R Us, right? So back then I had first bought my four door, uh -huh. and uh, and when I first bought my four door, I think Instagram had just came. Instagram had just came about, right? So I had an Instagram page, and I started posting pictures of my car on Instagram, the process or whatever. And, uh -huh. um, and I started posting, and the page just started growing, started growing. And right. then after that, I started posting other people's cars as well. You know, it was just started just from just posting the cars that I like, you know, seeing. Going to the paint shop, whatever, seeing cars and posting it, and it just started taking off and taking off. And I'm like, you know what? I should take this a little more seriously. And uh, I tried to trademark Don't For Us. Uh -huh. And... When I tried to trademark Dunks and Russ, Toys and Russ sent me a... Uh, a cease and desist. A cease and desist letter, yes. Because of, because of the R.S. Right. So then after that, I changed it to, uh, to Dunk World. Because I wanted to trademark the name of them. So then I changed it to Dunk World. And then before I could trademark it, I was talking to a dude who was giving me some, some advice. And uh, he said... Uh, if I was you, when you get get a domain name, so when I went to try to get a domain name, don'tworld.com, that was already taken. So, don'tworld.com was already taken, so it was don'tworld.net. And then the guy was like, man, I don't, I don't, um, I don't recommend you getting a .net, because .com no. is more, yeah, .com is more familiar. So then, you know what I mean, like, then I changed it to Don't Plan It. The Don't Plan It. Com was available. And that's how that came about, you know what I mean? But it started from Don't Saw Us. You know, at the time, like, when, when I had to change the name, I was mad. Because I was so used to Don't Saw Us. You know what I mean? But then, you know what I'm saying? But then, at first, I didn't like Don't Plan I mean, It. don't sound right. It don't sound right. It, don't, it grew on me. But now, you know what I mean? I like it. How long ago was that? I started Don't Saw Us. I want to say... Sometime in 2013, early 2014. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's been a while. Oh, it's been a while. Okay, okay. So we'll get right into the fans' question. Um, what is your favorite lens to use? Favorite who? Lens. So do you shoot with a camera? Oh, I shoot with a camera sometimes. The, the lens I use is a 24 by... It's a 24 by 70. Uh-huh. But it's a Canon camera, right? So... To be honest, um, I used to bring my camera out a lot, but it's a Canon camera. It's a, uh -huh. it's a 6D. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of heavy to be carrying it around. Right. And now, you know, they got these phones with these high-tech cameras now. So now, like, you feel me? Like, if I don't have to carry my camera, I use my phone. Right. You know? Oh, this is a good question. How would you rate yourself as a shooter from one to ten so how would you I, I i'll put a twist on that so how would you rate yourself now and how would you have rated yourself back then when you first started back then when i was shooting i was maybe i would rate myself as a um, I would say maybe a three or a three back then because like I was just taking pictures like I didn't really know about angles you know I mean stuff like that taking pictures at certain angles 
you know, how to adjust the aperture and stuff like that. But now I would say, now I would say that I'm like maybe an eight because, you know, it's always room from improvement. There's a lot of stuff that I would still learn how to do that I haven't learned how to do. You know, the camera's got a lot of features on it. Uh -huh. So it's still certain things that I don't know how to, that I don't know how to do yet. And then you right. know what I'm saying, trying to run don't plan it and stuff like that, and having so much going on and trying to do other things as well, kind of like don't leave me room to try to fully learn how to function the camera because the camera got a lot of features. But busy is good, right? Huh? Busy is good, right? Yeah, busy is good, definitely, definitely. <laughs> All right. Would you ever do a collab? Oh, oh, so we so we know who asked this. Would you ever do a collab with Sir Buck Films? Oh yeah, I don't got no problem with Sir Buck Films. I never met Sir Buck Films before, but I seen some of his work floating around the ground. He does good work. He does great work. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of people out there that's doing great work. So, how did you learn photography? Are you self-taught, or did you go to school, or? Oh, self-taught. So, so I got a friend. I got a friend, uh, my homeboy Seabread. Uh -huh. He was the first one. He bought a camera. He, you know what I'm saying? He had his camera first. So I just learned off of him. You know what I'm saying? So you know, being that I like cars, I went and bought me a camera too, and I started and I learned off of him. But he know how to do more things than I can. But that's how I started. So you bought a camera before you really knew how to photograph with it. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and I want to spend a lot of money on that camera too. Yeah, that's 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 um what Sir Book Film said yesterday. He said he spent like twelve twelve I don't know, he said he 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 jumped out on faith and spent like twelve thousand on all his equipment. It was just like oh, I'ma take I'ma take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy when it's fun to check. Yeah. Um, this is a good question. How is the Vert project you were working on coming? Man, to be honest, I'm be honest. The don't game is stressful. So, you know what I mean? So, to be honest, like right now, I'm gonna be honest with you, the vert on pause right now. You feel me? The don't game is stressful. I got a lot of stuff going on, and that shit is stressful. And so, we're on pause right now at the moment. There's a couple people asking me. A lot of people asking me actually about the vert. But it's on pause right now because that really stressful. You know, I done been through my little trials and tribulations so far. Building my four door was a headache. You know what I mean? So to be honest with you, I don't even know why when they got me another project car. The part that I got now is it need work. You know what I mean? So. Okay, Your project same. cars are not. Listen, let me tell you, I'm not even building a dunk. I'm building a G body, and okay. every day I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sell it today. I'm done. I'm mm -hmm. I'm tired. I'm done. Do you think so? So let's have the built not bought discussion. Mm -hmm. Would you rather built or bought? I'd rather build a car, considering I built my four door, but now. Since I already went through the whole built phase, I wouldn't mind buying something that's like semi, semi built already. Like, you feel me? Because I don't want to buy somebody's complete project or whatever unless I buy it and change the paint and change the wheels or whatever. But like to buy somebody's car that's already built, you know, and people already know that it already they used to belong to somebody else. That's, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. In my opinion, I wouldn't do it. There's nothing wrong for the people who want to do that, but I wouldn't do it. Well, then the Twitter thing is, like, I, you know, we've all seen it. People buy cars, and it's full of Bondo. You don't really know. You know, it looks nice, mm -hmm. but now you got you, it's just so much. That that was my main reason for wanting to build a car versus buying it, because I can go take fifteen, twenty thousand 20000 and buy a car from someone, but mm -hmm. I don't know, you know... I, if I don't know the person, know the person, how do I know that I'm not getting something that's like, you just don't know what you're getting. Exactly. That's why these days in a day, you can't trust everybody. Right. You can't trust right. Everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Right. <laughs> um, do you follow the Big Rim Racing? Um, I do. I follow the Big Rim Racing. Uh, I've been to a few of them. I've been to a majority of I've been to a majority of all the ones uh, down here. 
The ones out of town. The one I've been to Stufffest one time. Uh-huh. But as far as all the ones down here, I've been to the majority of them. I wouldn't say I've been to all of them down here, but I've been to the majority of them. But a lot of times when I be out there, like I'm kind of like low key or whatever. So a lot of people don't probably won't see me because I'm low key, but I've been to the majority of them. Do you have a favorite camp or car in the dog world? You mean as far as racing or you just mean in general? In general. My favorite car, my favorite dog, I can say, was T-Boo, T-Boo, T-Boo dog. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That was my favorite dog. Uh-huh. That one was my favorite, and um, but now, you know, uh, head on it now, so that was my favorite dog. Do you have, what made you build a four-door? I mean, you know, people be talking down on four doors. I've always been a four door person. I started with a with a four door box Chevy back in the day. Uh-huh. Before the whole Instagram era, I had a four door box Chevy. So it was only right that I get a four door dunk. You know what I mean? So that's why I get a four door. I ain't gonna lie. I originally started with a. I had a four door post at uh-huh. first, the one with the pillars in the middle. And when I bought it, I bought it from. I think I bought it from South Carolina, North Carolina. I bought it from Spartanburg. I forgot if it was in South Carolina or North Carolina. When I bought it, it was a roller. And um it was a roller. And they had a little rust on it. But when I when I was doing the the paint person who was going to be working on it for me, he told me just buy it. So I bought it and I got it shipped down here from, from the Carolinas. And uh a lot of people used talking shit about posts back then, but I still went and bought it. It was seventy one, and um, and then it got down here, and I and I um, I took it to the paint man, and the paint man was like, you know, I mean, he asked me what I want to do with it. I told him, you know, I said I told him I want to build it, but I told him take his time. But the thing I realized in the dog game nowadays, you can't really tell a paint man to take their time because, you know what I mean. You know, they 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 are gonna just like put it up or whatever. So it sat for a while, and then the rust got worse. Uh-huh. So when I finally got ready ready to to, to to go in on it, um, the rust was bad. So I just bought another four door for my homeboy Pat, which is the four door that I got now, and that ended up being a no post. So you know, it's kind of like a win win because people was talking down on the posts and stuff or whatever. So now I got the one with no post. But I had a previous four door that never made it out because the rust got so bad. Right. What do you think is the most stressful part of dealing with the dunk game? I mean, I think everybody got their own their own stressful uh, their own stressful experiences with the dunk game. Some people might find it financially stressful. You might find dealing with the paint shop is stressful. That's me. I'm some people. The financial part. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know, like it might be financially stressful. Uh, f- financially stressful. Paint shops be stressful. A lot of shops be stressful. You feel me? Uh-huh. But for me, I would say the most stressful experience I had when I was building my four door was dealing with the paint shop. That was my most stressful experience. Like, you know what I mean? Like. Like when I got my four door, mm, the paint man had painted it. I don't know. When I was ready, when I bought that four door, I, that's when I when I bought that four door that I got now. I wanted to go in on it, but then right. he was kind of taking his time again. I was like, man, come on. So then finally he got to paint it, and uh, he got to paint it. Then he said he got to sit for like two weeks to cure. So when he said to set for two weeks to cure, two weeks came, and then it was still sitting after it was paying, I was like, yo, what's good, you know what I mean, whatever, whatever. And I said, we got to a little heated discussion. I took my car. So I took it, I took it to somebody, because it was already paying, I just had to take it to get a West Sand and Buff. I took my, we got into a discussion, I just took my car from him. He didn't even get the West Sand and Buff it, I took it to somebody else, they West Sand and Buff it. And, uh... And then I have my homie. I don't know if you ever heard of Steel Willie. Shout out to Steel Willie. You ever heard of Steel Willie? Uh-uh. You want to put Steel me on? Willie a, Steel Willie is a guy. 
I don't think Still Witty. Well, Still Witty do got an Instagram page. Um, he's a guy that developed the uh, uh anti theft device. It's called the pen. Right. And, you know, and Willie was full of inventions and shit. He like the goddamn uh Albert Einstein. Yeah, he like the goddamn Albert Einstein of like inventions for cars, cars like for the dunk game or whatever, boxes, whatever. Mm-hmm. Lifting shit, lifting cars or whatever. So still what he had uh at the time I didn't know him, but a lot of people who, who put dunks together that way. So still Willie came to my house and he helped me uh put the uh put the put the uh, molders on and stuff like that. And um I been had the wheels. Back then, you know what I mean, we used to buy the wheels first. I don't know what some people are. Some people probably still buy the wheels. But back then, I had my wheels like months before the car was done. And sitting in the closet. Then we put the wheels on. And then like, after I took the car from the paint shop, my shit was done. I put it together like like the next two weeks. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? It was just the, the paint shop. Basically, when you were talking about the stressful shit for me, it was the paint shop. That was holding me up. So it was good. So we gotta talk about it. I wasn't I wasn't gonna bring it up, but I see it in the comments. Uh-huh. Let's talk about the famous comment. What the vacillation? Yes. Let's, let's talk about it. I was let's just out there trying to I was just out there trying to experience the weather, man. <laughs> Listen, when I <laughs> when I seen that, I was like, you know, they got a whole I think you posted it. A whole remix to the. I was like, did you make that, or did somebody make it, or the song? Yeah. You know the thing went viral first, and then uh, when it went viral, uh, the people who made the beat they call millionaires. Uh-huh. No, millionaires, millionaires from uh-huh. California. Shout out, shout out to millionaires. They made the beat right. And then they, 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 they made the beat and they looped it or whatever. Then they hit me up. It went viral. So they hit me up on Facebook. They sent me a message like, yo, what's good? You feel me? We can go in on this 50 50, whatever the case may be. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. So then they sent me the song. So they sent me the song. So then, um, you know what I mean? They sent me the song to put the. Uh, all I had to do was put the uh, like uh, the don't panic part in the beginning of the song or whatever. Right. And then send it back, send it back to them. They mixed it, mastered whatever they had to do with it. You know what I mean? And then the rest is history. The rest is history. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Listen, when I, I mean, see that look, if I'm ever having a bad day, I look at that. It makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm like, you know what I'm saying, like. I mean, I, 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 was, I was, I'm glad that a lot of people was able to get giggles off of it, because at the same time, a lot of people were stressed around that time because of the hurricane and stuff, so a lot of people got a lot of joy out of it, a lot of laughter out of it, you feel me, so, you feel me, it was a good thing to me, some people was talking down, you know, you know, you, you know, you always gonna have the haters, oh, that clown ass nigga this, and clown ass nigga that, by the end of the day, man, I don't care what they say, man, fuck them, so. It you, got what it is. you got exactly. paid, though. You got paid. Exactly. I did get a check from you. But let me tell you, when I tell you, it makes me laugh so hard. I be crying. Yeah. I was like, I was like, and then I was like, I gotta hit him up. I gotta talk to him. I gotta talk to him. And I wasn't, but literally, so many people sent that question. Then it started popping up in the comments. I'm like, I'm just gonna ask about it. Yeah, ain't no thing. You feel me? Like, I didn't want you to feel like I was trying to be disrespectful when I asked about it. You know, I just my main thing is I never want you guys when you're sitting down to take time out of your schedule to talk to me. Feel like I'm trying to disrespect y'all. Yeah, I understand. So, but no, but I'm yeah, feel, I'm feel, I'm one of my classics, my, one of my go tos. I don't feel disrespected about the vacillation thing. You know, it ain't nothing to be embarrassed about. If anything, I'm proud of it. You feel me? Like. You know, it was a great moment at the time, you feel me? So, was it actually, did you actually mean to say that, or is that what just came out? To be honest with you, uh-huh. no, that just came out. And you was like, oh, fuck it, I done said it now, I can't yeah. You feel me? <laughs> Had to take it and run with it. What did the news lady say? Did she look like? 
she paused for a little bit. At first, at first, when, 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 when the when the uh when the whole situation went down, I thought nobody peeped it. You know what I mean? And then it wasn't until uh well like right after I got off the news interview, somebody right. called me. Somebody called me and said, Yo, were you just on TV? I was like, Yeah. And then whatever I was doing, son, I told her, I told the person I'm calling him back. And then um, next thing you know, somebody put the post. Somebody I forgot the buddy name. Uh-huh. I forgot the buddy name, but he he uh he put the post up. He was the one that recorded off the news and caught it and posted it on. I don't know if it was on Facebook or Instagram, and from there it just took off. Well, thank you to him now, huh? Huh? I said thank you to him now, huh? Yeah, thank you to him. I would give him a shout out, but I don't remember his. I don't remember his Instagram name. Um. So, is the question: Why do people get on so much about not tagging the owners of cars? Uh, get on me. I mean, I guess maybe you're talking about people. They didn't say you particularly. But okay. why do you think people get on people so much about not tagging the owners of cars? I mean, I don't know. As of today. As of lately, well, for a while now, like, I've been tagging. For me personally, as a while, when I first started, I would tag owners occasionally. You feel me? Um, but now, as of lately, now I tag the owners often. If I know who the owner of the car is, I'll tag them. But what, what people fail to realize is, you gotta learn, reading is fundamental. People will be like, oh, why you ain't tag so-and-so? Why you ain't tag so-and-so? Did you read the caption? Because if you read the caption right before where the hashtag start, you'll see the person who owns the car was tagged. Or if right. somebody's picture that I reposted, you'll see like, right before the hashtag start, you'll see the camera emoji and, uh, and the person's name. Right. You feel me? If I know who took the picture or whatever the case may be. You know, but sometimes, you know, people just be tripping. Back then when I first started, you know, I would tag people occasionally, but I didn't really tag people because it was kind of funny to me. Like, things have really changed from back then because I grew up in an era where people didn't really want their names out there like that. So I would post pictures and ask so-and-so, if I go to a paint shop, when I first started, I go to a uh, paint shop and ask so-and-so, yo, you want me to tag you? They'd be like, nah, 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 you feel me? Because people didn't want to be out there like that. Now, everybody wants to be known. Everybody wants to be tagged. I mean, which ain't nothing, which is nothing wrong with that if that's what you want, you feel me? But back then, people didn't want to get tagged all the time. People didn't want to get tagged. They didn't want their face out there like that. But now, it's, I guess we're in a different time and age. So... I mean, I don't know. I mean, now I know. I, and now, if I know who the person called is, I know I tag them now. They just got to read. If you don't read, then that's your business. What is the biggest struggle you go through of being a, um, a, a photographer, a videographer in the, you know, in the car game? The biggest what? The biggest struggle. So your biggest, um, the biggest challenge. Um... Our biggest challenge. I mean, it ain't not the it's not really biggest challenge right now. I mean, I would say one of the the, the biggest thing that I dislike in a dog game is uh-huh. people who don't know me or people who don't know people. You know, out there spreading rumors or whatever. You got so your opinion about somebody. You don't even know that person. You feel me? You got your opinion. Right. You, I guess you call it hate, you know, whatever they call it. You feel me? Uh-huh. That's like one of the biggest things to me. Like, sometimes I still can't get my head wrapped around that. Like, right. why you, dis- you dislike people you don't know? I'm promoting something that we all love. Right. Which is don'ts. Which is don'ts or whatever. So, like, where all the hate comes from? You know, I done heard, like, the dumbest reasons as to why someone dislikes me as far as, like, because I say, you hear me all the time. You hear me all the time. Or oh, what do you think? He from New Orleans? I'm like, New Orleans? I'm like, where that come from? New Orleans? They say, you heard me. I don't say you heard me. I'm like, you hear me? Or whatever. But that's one of the biggest challenges to me, like, trying to get around people, like, Trying to understand why people always got negative stuff to say or why they hate him, you know what I mean? Like, it just don't make no sense to me. I think that, if, I'm, uh, if I'm promoting something we all love. Like, I done heard situations like about, like, oh, he think he all that. 
He uh-huh. thinks he's he arrogant. He's arrogant. I'm arrogant. I'm none of those things. I don't believe I'm arrogant. You know what I mean? Um, I've met people. I've met people before that don't that don't me right. One of the right. things I've met people that don't me right. And I meet them at Dunk Day. And I might shake your hand at Dunk Day, but I might keep a push it, because you feel me? I got a show. I got a show to run, you know what I mean? Right. The next thing you know, I'm hearing rumors about, oh, that guy's arrogant. I tried to talk to him at Dunk Day. You know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? Like, he, he kind of gave me, like, a bullshit what's up or whatever the case may be. And when you really, it ain't that. If you, if you, if you're a person, you throw shows. On the day of the show, it kind of be hectic, and you want your show to be perfect. So it's kind of like, you know, you say your what's up to people here and there, but, like, you can't really sit down and and talk. And people tend to get mad, and they spread rumors. And, man, I don't know, man. That's, like, the biggest challenge to me, like, people out here spreading rumors and shit. I think um, that's just with today's society anyway. I think that people, um, they tend to kind of, I hate using the word hate, but I think they, they tend to, um, things that they don't understand or people that they don't understand, they tend to have a problem with them. Yeah. Um, I, I, that's what I see anyway. That's just my opinion about it. But, um, so next question, what's a fun fact that people, that people, your followers or your supporters or your fans would be surprised to know about you? So a hobby that you have or a, or something that you know that we would never know if you didn't tell us. A fun fact. Uh-huh. Damn, I don't know. That's kind of like a tough one. Something about me that they wouldn't know if I didn't tell them. I mean, like, I listen to a lot of... Well, no, they they know that about me, so... So you don't don't really have any, like, hobbies we wouldn't know or anything? My my hobbies is cars, so... So that's... Fun fact. Go ahead. Fun fact, okay, fun fact for me that people don't know is, like, I like water parks, Uh as you can see that. Like, so you'll go all over the country and go to water parks? I haven't done that yet, but I've been to a couple. Okay. Well, that's a good one. Um, Someone asked, if you didn't build a dump, what other car would you build? Well, I mean, I started with a box Chevy, so if I didn't have a dump, I definitely would still have a box Chevy. So you're just a Chevy man all the way around, huh? Pretty much. I mean, but then again, I ain't gonna lie to you, like, I got a dunk already. I still want a box Chevy. I still, I want, I want a Monte Carlo SS. You feel me? Um, one of the cars that grew on me recently is the, uh, the Cadillac. They call it the cabs. Uh-huh. It's like a 70 something, the uh-huh. convertible ones or whatever. It's a dude got one, like, like a, like a loop there on some gold dance. Uh-huh. I think those cars tough. Um, so I probably right now I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I'm really feeling that little cab. So if I didn't have a dunk right now at this moment, I probably would do that little cab. What is your dream car? My dream car. I would say it's seventy one vert. So you don't want a new car? Yeah, like if you could have any car, it would still be a dunk. I would say a 71. If, any, if, if you ask me, okay, what is my dream new car? I probably would, it'd probably be a Cullinan. A what? A Cullinan. That's my, that's like my dream new car. Okay. Yeah, that's And then the, the your dream car. old school would be a 71 vert. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, you say you don't too much watch the dump racing. You don't, you don't really keep up with that. I watch, I watch, I mean, I watch them. I've been uh-huh. to majority ones down here. Right. Huh. Um, I mean, like, I watch them. Like, I was there. Okay, put it like this. I was there at the first dunk race between Two Fly and Dunk Master when they raced on State Road 9. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I keep up with it. It's just like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
But I was so how, black. How do you manage Dunk Planet and all the things you do with the cars and and Dunk Planet and your personal time, your personal life? Just gotta be dedicated. I ain't gonna lie, it's tough. Right. Still trying to manage everything and be on Don't Plan all the time too. Cause I ain't gonna lie to you, like I put a lot of hours behind Don't Plan it as well. So uh-huh. even when I'm not on the gram, you know what I mean. So it's tough. It just gotta be dedicated. You feel me? Just wanna see. I wanna see Don't Plan it go to another level. So I just gotta keep pushing and be dedicated. Where do you see Don't Plan it in five years? Don't plan it in five years. In five years, I hope to see Don't Plan it like doing more car shows like throughout the United States. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Um, just, you know what I'm saying? Just doing more show, car shows throughout the United States. And in five years, like, honestly, like, I would like Don't Day to be recognized in five years. Hopefully, Don't Day to be recognized as a as a real holiday. You know what I mean? That's like ambitious, they, but that's a good one. That's yeah. ambitious, but it's a good one. That's a good yeah. one. You know how they have like they have like they have these crazy holidays these days. Uh, Jean Day right. or whatever the hell they got. You know what I mean? Like, so one day I would like for to be recognized as a real holiday. We're going to have to work on that in Miami and then get it global. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. So, we, yeah, we're going to have to we're gonna have to work on that. We're going to have to petition to make Dunk Day a day, an actual day in Miami. And then we'll move globally. Hell uh, yeah. <laughs> That's the plan. Hopefully in five years. Well, hopefully before that. All right. So, those are all my questions. I'll go ahead and give you the floor and give you the the opportunity to talk. What would you like for people to know about Dunk Planet? Uh, I'm not arrogant. I'm not arrogant. I'm not, uh, I don't think I'm all that. I don't think I'm better than nobody. I'm not in competition with nobody. I'm just here to promote something that we all love. You feel me? That's all. Like, I'm not in competition with nobody, so... You know what I'm saying? I just I, I would just like for people to just, you know what I'm saying? Stop with the stop with the rumors, you know what I mean? Spreading rumors. People calling people and telling them this and telling that. I would like for people to stop boycotting, trying to boycott shows, trying to convince other people not to attend somebody's show. You know what I mean? All that stuff, you know what I mean? Right. I just want people to know that, because, you know what I mean, like, at the end of the day, like, I've never done that, like, try to tell somebody, like, no, don't go to that person's show, no, don't go, like, saying, God gave us free will, let people go where they want to go, you know what I mean, and let people go off of their own experiences, you feel me, like, you can't go out there trying to recruit people to dislike other people, you feel me, like, that's ridiculous. If you don't like, it's not a crime to dislike somebody. If you want to dislike somebody, you can dislike them on your own, but don't go try to recruit anybody. True. You know what I mean? True. But yeah, I just want people to know that I'm not, I'm not arrogant, and I don't think I'm better than nobody, and I'm not in competition with anybody. Right. You know so what's the, what's the next huh? thing um, that people can catch Don't Plan It at? I know I saw the flyer for Don't Day, but do you have any other events coming up? Me having me have any other events coming up? No. Um, other than that, this year I would like to travel more. So I want to try to I want to try to uh, I'm trying to see about going to a couple of shows out of town. Uh-huh. So I don't know what event I'm going to next, but I know I definitely want to travel more. I've been to a couple of shows out of town. I've been to Stuff Fest before. I've been to uh, I've been to the first Midwest Fest. I've been to uh, what's the one they do in Chicago? Um, oh, Shotown Show and Go. No, not that one. It's another one by the guy Stunner Reese. Um, uh, I know what I you're talking know. about, but I can't. I don't know the name of it, but I do know what you're talking about. Yeah, I can't remember that one, but I've been to that one before. I just want to go to more out-of-town shows, you know what I mean? Like, 
going to shows in my in my own city is great. You know, I want to go outside, outside, go out of my city and stay more to uh, to see so you, more of what's going on outside of my state. Do you prefer car shows or races, or do you like them when it's both? I like. I like them both. I like car shows more, but I like them both. Right. Yeah. But the races, they cool. The race is cool. I got no problem with the races. It's just that. No, I don't want to say nothing. I don't want nobody to think I'm talking down on that. So it's good. I like the races. Yeah. I know what you were about to say, but I, I agree. <laughs> All right. So. Um, he said fast and flashy is one you gotta see in person. I think um, you know, I've I've been to a lot of different races around different parts of the country. And uh I can I can say I think you're making a great decision by traveling this year versus last year, because last year was kind of garbage with the racing, if that's what you were going for. But this year I think it's gonna be much better. Um the the guys have all said they're committed to making it better this year because last year was not a good year for racing, but, mm-hmm. but, um, but so, yeah, you know, there's definitely a lot of stuff coming up. If you need some of those, um, I think it was either Velt or G dog made a post and it has a lot of the dates on it. Um, and I always know dates. If you like need to know what's coming up, I'll be happy to send you the information on what's coming up. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, that was, that was pretty much all I had. I just want to thank you so much for, even pulling over to sit and talk to me and answer the fans' questions. We really appreciate it. I know you're busy. Tell everyone um, that, that is not aware of the national holiday of Dunk Day. When is when is Dunk Day? Dunk Day going down in Miami, Florida, May 16, 2020. The exact location is to be announced. I should have the location, the, the exact location out for you guys shortly. But you feel me? May 16th is going down. It's the sixth annual Don't Day. We started in 2015. You feel me? Six years later, we still going. You know what I mean? Hopefully, we go to Don't Day 100. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be walking on the cane with Don't Day 100, but we'll still be there. <laughs> For real, yeah. yeah. So, thank you. We, we really appreciate you sitting down to answer our questions. Thank you so much for joining. And I guess you can get back on your journey to wherever you were going now. No problem. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you having me. Thank you so much. Have a great day. No problem. You have a great day as well.